something, but this is something that uh, and this is something that needs to be talked about that I've been posting a lot about lately. And just in general, because I know a lot of you have questions and about how I got the offer for the Flying Wizard Racing Team. And as to why I turned down, ultimately turned down the offer. Well, the truth is, um, back last year, I was on this simulator game. It's a real-time racing simulator that it manipulates real-life cars and physics. It's called R-Factor. I'm on there all the time. I was on there all the time. You know, just racing, drifting. Having fun doing whatever. Oh, sorry about that. That was actually the fan to my Chromebook falling over. So ignore that. But, uh, anyways, I was on there, you know, doing my thing. And I had seen that on the site they had a new track to test out with the new um, Porsche pack that was out at the time. So I was like, yeah, obviously I'm going to download it and check it out and see what it was about. And so I did, and I was sitting there. And I can't remember where I posted the video at, but I did a couple runs with it. Posted it up. Uh, I forget where. But, you know, I really pushed that Porsche to its limits. Like, I was on, you know, a steering wheel rig set up and everything. So, like, I had the realistic simulation going. I had everything. Well, I guess after I posted it up, somebody had gotten a hold of the footage, uh, mentioned my name. They spread it around, and I guess the guys over at the Flying Lizard Race Company seen it and was like, you know, if he can do that, he can drive for us. And they approached me and was like, you know, like we want you to race for us. We've seen what you did. You do have a you have a lot of potential. You know, and with the right training, you could potentially become a pro racer. And I I had to turn them down. Like I told them, I was like, I would love to. It's always been my dream to race for the Flying Wizards racing because I watch them on circuit races all the time. Um, they're actually really good. And they approached me with the offer, and I was talking to them because I was interested. And they asked me like. You know, like, you know, like how I got into racing and that, and just the general stuff, and I told them. Well, then they came at me with a 2.3, between 2.3 and 2.9 million dollar two-year contract to race on a pro level, along with whatever I make in purse from each race win. And I wanted to take that shot so bad, but I had to tell them, I was like, I, I love the offer. Like, I highly appreciate it, and I'm glad that they, you know, liked what I did, but I had to turn it down, and due to the fact that I don't have a car, a license, and no money for a car. 
but they did say that you know whenever I can get a car and a license which I don't know when that'll be you know to hit them back up and they'll see what they can do um at least I'm hoping the spot will still be open and if not if I can't do pro racing for them, I am going to try to get into pro go-kart racing. And so, because like, that's like the next best thing. So, you know, and it sucks. Like, it really sucks having to turn them down because I would have loved to race for those guys. Like, I grew up watching the Flying Lizard race team since I was a kid. And to get that kind of an offer just because... I had set a record on our factor for a certain track. Like, that's huge. But that's why I'm on Live Me every day so I can save up and do what I need to do. Um, what I'm doing on there is I'm trying to earn diamonds because once I earn diamonds, I'll be able to get like between $200 and $600 in cash through Live Me once I get enough. You know, diamonds, I can cash it in. So I've been doing covers and stuff every day. I've been doing stuff on there since day before yesterday. Uh, I currently have 33 diamonds. I need like a thousand and something diamonds to, you know, cash out. So I'm hoping that once, you know, I'm able to get $200 in cash and diamonds, which I'm hoping people will start donating diamonds. I'm really hoping. But once I'm done with that, I will be cashing in the diamonds to, you know, turn into cash. Once I do that, um, I will then be saving that money to get a, you know, a go-kart. And try to find a local track around here where I can, you know, race and earn a little bit of cash on the weekends. And then use that money to then fuel my music career during the rest of the week. Um, and yes, I am looking into getting my license as soon as I can, but right now it's not possible because we don't have money for a car for the physical part. And I'm trying to do it all at once. Like, I'm really trying to, you know, have my car. That way I can take the written test online and then just go up to the spot and do the test there like the physical test and just be done with it and knock it out and stuff like that and then once that happens you know i'll have my license and i'll be able to you know get a go-kart and you know race hopefully on a pro level you know on the weekends and then you know once i'm done doing that you know, I'll still be able to do music during the week, and I'll be able to do both. Like, I really want to be able to do both racing and my music, because, you know, obviously I'm good with music. It's what I've done the longest, but being behind the wheel, and I've been told this by many people, that because of my racing skills with real-life simulators, like me for Speed Pro Street, um, R-Factor, also with a racing, uh, Project Cars, you know, that's why I belong behind the wheel, because of how well I do. And they're right, like, it wouldn't be that hard, because I've used, you know, wheel rigs before, so I know how to do it. Plus, I do have experience with go-karting in the past. Um, the guy I used to work for, Bernie, he actually took us to a racing track for go-karts when we were out one day. And it was a lot of fun. Like, I really enjoyed it. I really got into it, and I had fun with it, like. It was fun. I was really good at it. So, you know, why not do that on a more, you know, basis? Hey, Morton, Suzanne, what's up? And Morton, Sam, what's up? I did not see you pop on. What's up? I do apologize. But, uh, you know, it does suck that I had to turn down one of my favorite teams for racing on that pro level. But 
hopefully through go-karting and doing that, hopefully when I can get the money to do that, I will be able to, you know, support what I really want to do with my music and, you know, do both. I have the best of both worlds. You know, when I'm not in the studio, I'll be at the track. When I'm not at the track, I'll be in the studio and being on here. Now, I don't know of any locations around here in this general area, but I do know that Akron and Ohio in general does have tracks, which I need to find that out as soon as I can get a go-kart, which on Amazon, those aren't that expensive. They're like, I think like 200, 300 bucks, which is why I am on live.me every day, trying to gain diamonds, trying to gain fans, viewers, stuff like that that way i can you know build my fan base and earn diamonds so i can cash out and have the money ahead of time so i can do everything i gotta do Right, and I've been the same way. Like, I've been up and down on land, mostly because of the heat. Like, the heat's been really bad these last few days. So, like, my sleep's been kind of back and forth between day and night. So, like, it, it sucks. Like, there'll be times where I'm sitting there playing a game or practicing on Pro Street, and, like, I'll start dozing off, and I'm like, all right, you know, time to set the wheel down, put the brake on, you know, catch some rest, and then, you know, pick back up. But, like, I do hope that that kind of gives you guys an understanding as to why I can't get my license yet. Oh, yeah, I know I can take it online and stuff and do that. But, you know, it's like I said, I would rather have both the car. I would, I would rather have the car there so that once I'm done with the written part, I can just drive right up to, you know, the DMV, get my permit, you know, wait six months, and then get my actual license. So, I mean, it does suck being stuck in the spot that I'm in, but what can I really do, you know? And the best I can do is just upload videos to YouTube and do everything else, so. Like, it, it does suck. I mean, like I said, do I want to race on a professional level? Hell yes, I do. Like, that's the one thing I always have been good at. I mean, come on, I've set world records. I've broken world records in racing gaming. In the world of racing style gaming over the years. So, like, why wouldn't I want to do it on a pro level in real life? You know what I mean? But uh, anyways, guys, that will do it for this. Um, like I said, I hope that this, you know, gives you guys some insight as to why I can't, you know, do anything at this point and why I'm kind of stuck. But uh, I do have a new YouTube channel with a video uploading right now for gaming. Um, but once that's up, you guys will be getting links. So that being said, y'all. I'm about to try and attempt to sleep again. I'm not going to work, but I am going to try. And I will see you guys later on today or tonight or whatever. But um, anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.